So one real efficient way when you're trying to locate bass during the spawn is I like to throw reaction baits. So I can't physically see the beds. So I'm actually throwing a chatter bait right now. There's some scattered grass. It's hard bottom. This is prime habitat for spawning fish, for fish that are going to be moving up to spawn fish that are already on beds. They're in here. It's the perfect time of year and it's the perfect habitat. But because I can't physically see where the beds are because of the water clarity, I have to go and throw a, a reaction bait like a chatter bait. A lipless crankbait would work. And I just fan cast an area that I think should hold fish and hopefully get a bite. Hey guys, it's Smallmouth Crush. On behalf of Monster Bass, today's video is all about locating spawning largemouth bass. Where do you begin? Wow, every lake's different. I'm gonna try to break it down to the areas that I fish a lot, areas that I find a lot of largemouth during the spawn in, and the ways that I catch them. So I find the areas that I fish, the largemouth will start thinking about spawning when the water temps in the mid 50s. They'll start to transition and they'll start to move into some of the areas where they're going to be spawning. Once that water temp hits that 60 degree range and above and stays consistent, that's when you can expect fish to start spawning and moving into the spawning areas and those are some great places to target those fish at that time. There's a lot that goes into the spawn. The areas that I fish this time of year, the spawn will actually go on for a good month, month and a half, sometimes even two months depending on the part of the country that you're from. Up in the Northeast, for instance, we could have bass spawning as early as late April, all the way till the end of June into July, depending on the weather and of course the body of water. I'm fishing a fairly shallow body of water that heats up pretty quick, and so these fish are gonna start moving in when that water temp hits 60. We actually have about 62 degrees right now, and we just came off of a full moon. So what does that mean? Well, in terms of bass fishing during the spawn, a lot of times it's been said that the fish really start to move up based on the moon phase. And when you have a full moon, a new moon, different phases of the moon, that can dictate how that spawn's gonna progress throughout the year. Now I'm not too scientific when it comes to that. I just know that when there's a full moon and the water temp is right, I can expect to catch some largemouth spawning. Where do you begin? Where do you begin to catch spawning fish? Well, if you have a clear body of water, where you can actually see the beds, it's a lot easier to target those fish. However, I'm sure there's a lot of bodies of water that you guys might fish, and just like me, I'm fishing some real stained water here. There's no way I'm gonna be able to see a bed, even if I wanted to. Even under perfect conditions, it never gets clean enough to be able to see two, three, four feet down into the water. It's just too dirty. So I have to really rely on trying to figure out areas that they're going to spawn in. So there's a lot of areas that fish will use to spawn. Shallow bays, coves, marinas, flats, grassy flats, on wood, on rock. I mean, it. they could pretty much spawn anywhere. As long as you have, you know, eight feet of water or less and some good hard bottom because they do like to have a hard bottom in order to build that nest. What actually happens is a male will come in, start building the nest, and then wait for that female to arrive. The female will show up. They're gonna be aggressive for a day or two while they're on the bed, but oftentimes right after the spawn, they're gonna slide off the bed and that male's gonna guard it. And so a lot of times you're gonna go along and catch a lot of smaller males, you know, fish in that pound and a half to two and a half pound range. And that's a good sign. That means the big females are around somewhere and that's also going to help give up some of the spots that these fish actually spawn in. So I focus a lot around marinas this time of year. Marinas on this body of water that I'm fishing today really seem to be the key for, for spawning fish. And you can see we have a lot of boat slips, we have some poles, we have a lot of wood, some pilings here in the background you can see runs all, all the way behind me. Those are going to be key areas that these fish are going to set up on to make their beds. And so what I do is I'll go into a marina system like this which is actually a pretty big marina but this body of water has 20 30 of these different marinas all around it and I normally start at the very back of the marinas and I work the the pockets the cuts the boat slips and all I do is I work along the bank and I try to feel for some hard spots some hard 
uh, gravel, areas where these fish are going to spawn and set up on. And oftentimes uh, you can find them tucked up in some of these corners. Now on these poles you'll also have some fish. And believe it or not, there could be some fish spawning right out here in front of us. I just don't know it. Um, you, you have to really put your time in. And, and what do I mean by that? Well, putting your time in means that you just you have to fish. And you have to use your bait to find out what's going on on the bottom. Well, as you put your time in, the, you know, the body of water during the spawn, you're going to build up a history of areas that you know the fish normally spawn in. So for instance, where I caught this fish off of this wall, just from years past, I know that this time of year, they always spawn along this wall. In fact, there's this little barge here that's pushed up against the corner. And normally it's actually, there's about a five foot gap in between the wall and the barge. And they bed right in that back pocket. Now I'm a little upset because I can't make a cast to it because the barge is on it. Uh, but normally they'll sit along that. So if you if you didn't know that that bed was there or that they bed in that area, you just kind of have to look at some obvious stuff. We know that we have a boat ramp here. There's going to be some hard bottom, and they're going to utilize these these pilings and this wood to spawn on. And so I just took my time. A lot of it's repeated casts to the same area. And a lot of times, especially if you're throwing like a drop shot or for instance here, I was just using a shaky head. This is actually the big TRD. And I could feel that hard bottom. So as you cast your bait out, you wanna be, you wanna be aware of what's on the bottom. Like when you don't feel a whole lot, that's gonna be more of a soft bottom and you might feel some soft bottom and then all of a sudden you'll start you'll start feeling gravel or a little bit of, of hardness down there. There's a bite right there. Got him. <laughs> so I felt that gravel and then caught another one. But that was pretty cool. So he was also on a bed. This is a this is probably a male here that could be guarding fry. He could just be staging. Uh, his tail is a little beat up here, so you can see that he was actually making a bed recently, but another nice fish. So a lot of times I'll use a shaky head or a drop shot, and I'll use that not only to catch fish, but I want to know what's going on down below me. I want to know if I'm on some hard cover or not. So I'll take that drop shot, and I'll use that weight, and I'll just work it real slow around areas that I feel the fish should be spawning in. And oftentimes you're gonna start feeling that transition from perhaps a soft bottom, some muck, and all of a sudden you'll come over some gravel. And there's a good chance if you're fishing during the right conditions, the water temp's perfect, the fish are moved in, that there's gonna be a fish around it. Either building the nest or guarding the nest or perhaps actually physically spawning. Rewarded with a nice largemouth. Look at that. Red tail definitely is spawning. That fish came off of a bed. Didn't know where the bed was. I'm all wet. He got me wet. But that's a great, great looking largemouth there. Now a couple things to keep in mind. When I work through this area, I actually... Uh, I was so ready to hit this wall that I kind of bypassed this this area where I caught that fish. I mean, I know I made some casts to that corner pole, which is an obvious area where you would think a fish could possibly be spawning. And it just kind of goes to show during that demonstration, you know, I decided to pitch over there and try to feel for some hard bottom. And sure enough, there that fish was. So that's the key when you cannot see the beds you have to really slow it down. A drop shot, a shaky head, a small jig will work great. And you just have to 
you know, put in your time and over the course of a year or two of fishing that body of water, you'll be able to build some history. I know next year I can come back here during the spawn and catch fish along here. It doesn't really change. Now I know in this back corner here they also spawn and I'm gonna position my boat back here and I'm gonna be able to work that whole back wall and hopefully catch another fish. Oftentimes in these marinas you will actually get a little bit of grass growing and sometimes the grass will actually grow on a little bit harder bottom as well and those fish will spawn right into that vegetation so you want to be aware of that you're going to want to go along and uh, throw reaction baits you can throw a chatter bait you can throw a square bill a spinner bait whatever you're comfortable with that you can cover water and perhaps tr try to get a few strikes as well so if i came to a new body of water and i had no idea what i was doing as far as you know i have no past history and it's during the spawn the first thing I'm going to do is head into some type of marina, some type of dock system because I'm going to try to find those fish using that hard cover, using those, the pilings, using the wood. I mean right along here is probably a great spot or in this back corner right here. There's definitely going to be some fish spawning along here. But unfortunately because I can't see them I literally have to spend some time fishing all of it. Well the spawn's a magical time to fish. It's a great time to put numbers as well as perhaps your personal best in the boat. There's a lot to cover when it comes to spawning but you know trying to keep it simple for you guys I would really investigate any of the marinas, the shallow wood cover dock systems that you might have on your body of water and uh, utilize some of these tips and hopefully it'll help you uh, catch more fish this year.